Hi everyone, I'm Gabriel Zamora, and thank you so much for watching. So for today's video, we are in El Baño. That's gonna be your Spanish word of the day today. Where do you brush your teeth? In El Baño. Where do you wash your face? In El Baño. Where do you take a sh- So today we are in El Baño, and we are just taking our makeup off today. So if you wanna know my kind of like everyday makeup removal, routine of it all, then keep on watching. Hi everyone. Hi everyone, she's, hi everyone, and she just shot some really cool photos in downtown LA, and I'm super excited because I have red hair. Like fresh, dude, like fresh. Like scalp, sore, but fresh. Like fresh, like fresh, like just red. Okay, so we're gonna remove our makeup today, right? That's what we're gonna be doing. Where are my cotton pads? Yo! Oh, they're there. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is make sure you wash your hands, cause you don't wanna like, Start your face with like a dirty hand, even though you're like washing, whatever, same thing, right? Okay, so I wash my hands first and then I put on something cute and comfortable, like just cute and comfortable, right? Like, oh, let me remove my Latina necklace. This is the one moment that I remove my Latina necklace because I don't want it to get wet. I also hate like having a necklace on whenever I'm like washing my face and like bending over. This should be the thumbnail. Oh, I should take my shirt off. <laughs> Okay, so first, we're gonna remove our makeup. So we removed our top, so we're nice and naked and sexy, right? Okay, so the first thing we wanna do is remove our mascara. So we're gonna grab some cotton pads. These are from Diane. It's just, they're from Diane, I don't know. I, but I ordered them. I think I got them on Amazon. Dude, like at what point am I like realizing that like all my money goes to Amazon? Like at one point I'm gonna be like, Gabriel, like, you're spending too much money at Amazon. So first, we're gonna remove the makeup, right? And to do so, you're gonna get your Clinique. Take the day off makeup remover for lids, lashes, and lips. <gasps> oh shit, I got too much. Okay. And I just soak the little cotton pad and I just basically leave it all over the eye. And the reason why I do this is because Mascara to me doesn't fully break down with an oil cleanser that I use. So breaking it down beforehand is a lot more gentle on the eye. You don't have to fully scrub. You just keep it on like that and it like, maybe you'll like comb it down like this. So it kind of removes it. And if you put some on the bottom, see like, dude, my green eye surgery is like totally like bothering me right now. Ever since she got red hair, she's like a singer all of a sudden. Now we're gonna break down the makeup. Okay, so these are the two that I generally use. If I have like a full coverage foundation, did heavy contouring, like did heavy like product layering, I tend to go with something more like this. This is the Creme Shop Melt Away 3-in-1 Cleansing Balm. Make one of these, like you take the, like fully just will melt your entire makeup off, like just melt it. But sometimes when I'm doing like a light coverage type of day, like today I'm only wearing foundation and bronzer, I think. Maybe like blush and like brows and like highlight and I did prime and I think I did use some concealer. I also use mascara and eyeshadow and then like I do this like one trick with like my eyeshadow. So I did actually have on a lot of makeup, but it's not that much to me. <laughs> like do you ever put on that much makeup and you're like, this is so light. Then like some just are like, damn, you are B and you're like, am I? What about when I'm actually B? So we're gonna brush our hair out of the way. You could even use, oh I have the, I have this little headband. Okay, here we have a little drunk elephant moment. So you can use this if you don't know how to wash your face properly. Um, she's trying to like, you know, not get her hair fully messed up. You know what I mean, you know what I mean? But on days where I'm kind of like this, like like a little light be like real cute, like real like, ooh, she's pretty, right? We're gonna be using the Fourth Ray Beauty BFD Cleansing Oil. It's like a nighttime cleansing oil, but it like fully melts all your makeup away. So I do like almost three pumps, rub it around and then just, Why is that, what the fuck is stuck in my head? Hi everyone. Doing this will sometimes get any like stray mascara that you might have missed. So you go down, you go like around here. You keep very light pressure around your eye. Make sure that everything is nice and melted and it's rubbed in. And then you rinse it off. Okay, and then I actually don't dry my face right now. I then go in with this. This is a Philosophy Purity Made Simple One Step Facial Cleanser. I like got this little pump thingy. I'm obsessed with it. And then you grab like a nice solid pump. And as your face is still wet in your hands, you just 
then cleanse your face. So I do a double cleanse, and the reason why I really like it is because it doesn't feel really drying to do these two together. So on days that I know that I'm removing my makeup with like a balm or oil cleanser, I tend to go with a face wash that's like a little bit more gentle still on the skin so it, I don't overly strip my face, you know? Okay, now this is like the bougiest thing I do. I get a paper towel, so I have a paper towel holder here. And the reason why I do this is because it gives me like a fresh type of towel every time. I don't even think this is that bougie. Like, I forgot who told me about this and it has t definitely changed the game for me. Simply because you know how they say like, make sure you're changing your pillowcases out because that makes you break out because think about it, even if you wash your face, if you're pressing your face onto something that's dirty, that's gonna retransfer. So the same goes with towels. Um, like that one, I just took a shower early, like earlier in the day and like my hair's still transferring on stuff. I know that like having a towel there sometimes easy. That's transferring germs, it's keeping everything. So having like a fresh, just drying towel each time makes the biggest difference. And then I keep it here in case like any waterfalls, I end up keeping it to still do stuff. So okay, so the face feels like this. On days where I know I wear makeup and I'm like, oh, let me, let me double check, let me make sure. I use the Lancome Bifacile Face by faced micellar water. This is what it looks like. I don't think I shake it, right? Do I shake it? But I've been swearing and I like, I know how to do my skincare routine, but I always see people like go over their face with like micellar water, micellar, micellar water. And then you just kind of like, make sure that you remove everything. And it's also very like calming on the skin. Okay, so now that the face is nice and dry, we're gonna go in with the Murad Hydration Toner. I just spray it. Oh, I forgot to do an essence. I think that's what you're supposed to do first, right? Like an essence, maybe like a fresh black tea moment. Totally forgot, already sprayed the face, totally fine. Well, you know what I do like to do though? I like to use this Shea Moisture Clarifying Problem Skin Toner. It's a spray, and I spray it on my back. Cause I get like acne on my back, cause I don't know, I'm like fucking human, dude. There's a song stuck in my head and I don't know what song it is. Like, it's kind of frustrating. Oh my God, stop looking at me. You're so nasty. Okay, so now let's go in with the face. The first thing I always put, and it, I'm just never gonna get rid of this. I'm never gonna change. <gasps> I do need to like use my new one. Okay, so this is why I love them. Okay, so this is the Lancome Genifique Youth Activating Concentrate. Look, do you see that? The way this is shaped, like, it's so, like, perfect to getting the last fucking drop, dude. Oh, I live. I apply on my ring finger and then my middle finger. I especially apply it on areas that, like, I just have, like, I for sure know. Just need a little bit of love. Like, under the under eye, around the eyes. Then with this one, I go over the forehead, right? Place the product there, go very lightly. Then with this one, I go over my laugh lines and look around my mouth. Those are the areas that tend to crease the most and then whatever product i have i just i'm patting it right here i'm like moving it very lightly sometimes when i'm in a hurry and i just i'm like i'm just trying to go to sleep sometimes i'll rush that and i'll be a little too rough be careful this is your face you know you don't want to be too crazy with it okay then i apply some eye cream this is the philosophy anti-wrinkle miracle worker eye line correcting eye cream and i put some on my ring finger that's the finger that applies like the least amount of pressure so that's the finger i go in with like my under eye area Putting it in there. Don't get it too, actually I'm getting it way too close. You're actually supposed to be putting it right here. I got it way too close, I got too happy. So you're supposed to put it right here, simply because at night, the product is gonna travel up and around your skin. So if you put it really close to your eye, that's when like product starts to get into your eye as you're sleeping and you wake up with like really watery, like irritated eyes. If you realize you apply too many things at night and you also get really like irritated, watery eyes in the morning, that might be it. If you don't really apply anything and you're still getting irritated eyes, go to the doctor. So then I apply just any kind of other serum. Like I just have serums galore. Like I love skincare, as you can see. And as you can't see, like there's a lot of skincare everywhere. So now I'm going in with the Murad Revital Elixir Recovery Serum. And I like to keep that now in the perimeter of my face. So I do two pumps and then I go in with my three fingers on each side and just work it into the face and then bring it right here, bring it anywhere. I by no means am a dermatologist. I by no means am telling you that you need to get all this and that this is all gonna work for you. I'm just using products that I like 
then this is what I look like. If you see anything that you like and you wanna try it out and it works for you, job well done. Job well done. If you do have any skincare advice that you might have for me or any tips, recommendations, or maybe any rearrangement of certain products, definitely let me know in the comment section down below. I might be doing some things out of order, so I'm not perfect. Nobody's perfect. Now that we put stuff on the face, right, we're gonna go in with some night cream. Right now, I'm gonna use my Madonna one because I wanna use the Madonna roller because I wanna show y'all. We do some Madonna cream. One thing I'm really obsessed with doing is keeping little spatulas so that like I don't dig my finger into the actual product. And also like I take my shirt off just in case I get any excess, I'm gonna bring it down to my neck. I think I put on too much cream. <laughs> and then if you put anything on your neck, work up and then just pat it into the skin, right? And then any excess, back of the hands, best advice ever. I am not saying that the reason why I have a good jawline is because of this, but my jawline definitely looks better because of this. And this is the Madonna MDNA Skin Roller. It's pricey. Don't get me wrong, I get it. I have some MDNA skin products that I'm like gonna show y'all more of because they work amazingly. Like they just do, like that night cream works wonders on the skin. Like it just like, it feels like butter, but I know it's pricey so I tend to use these three products together when I can and then any other day I'll use like other products maybe like if I'm not using the roller I don't use this every day I use it maybe like two times a week maybe one time a week because it can be a kind of like a little bit hard on the skin but if you're using this once a week trust me it will be transformative and basically what I do is I do I go with the chin the cheekbones the forehead and then the neck this is how you do it So I do five, and if you wanna go like a little bit crazy, you can do like two more. Just be careful, cause it does heat up. And then right here, the cheekbone, and then the forehead, and then the neck. It's just transformative. I'm just letting you know, okay? And then we finish everything off with some MDNA Skin, the Rose Mist. You can either do like a mist, like today I'm doing the mist, because I want to layer these products. But sometimes like after I put my night cream on, I'll put on like a serum. You can either do this serum. This is the Murad Hydration Night Fix Enzyme Treatment. Love, 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 love. I put it over my um, night cream. Or if I'm feeling extra dry, I'll do the Drunk Elephant Virgin Marula Luxury Facial Oil. And the reason why you wanna put it at the end is because nothing really penetrates after the oil is what I've heard. So I keep the oil to the very end. But today, I'm just gonna keep it with this. The face is already like, there's a lot going on, right? You can't overlay it, right? Oh, it smells so beautiful. Okay, now that I look a mess and ready for bed, like this is what, if Mr. Wright comes along one day, this is what you're gonna be going to sleep with. Yeah. Okay, you guys, if you liked this nighttime skincare routine, make sure you give this video a big old thumbs up. If you're not already, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Make sure you subscribe and you hit that notification bell. That's it. That's all you have to do, baby. And until next time, bye, everyone. I started so pretty in this video. Whatever. Like, I'm tan, so it's fine. And I'm, I have red hair. Like, there's literally nothing that can bring me down. Like, I have red hair. Whatever. I'm going to sleep. I'm tired as fuck. Bye, everyone.